What is quantum entanglement? Quantum entanglement is one of the most mysterious and foundational principles of quantum mechanics, wherein two or more particles become intertwined in such a way that the state of one particle instantly determines the state of the other, regardless of the distance separating them. This phenomenon, described mathematically by Erwin Schrödinger and famously called spooky action at a distance by Einstein, defies classical intuition. Experiments like Alain Aspect's 1982 study, which tested Bell's theorem, have repeatedly demonstrated that entangled particles communicate instantaneously even when separated by light years. This apparent violation of local realism suggests that the universe is fundamentally interconnected at a deeper quantum level. Entanglement plays a vital role in practical technologies like quantum cryptography and the emerging field of quantum computing, but it also poses profound philosophical questions. If subatomic particles can remain linked across vast distances, could this principle extend to biological systems or even human consciousness? The idea of telepathy, a direct connection between minds, is often dismissed as pseudoscience. But the parallels between entanglement and reports of instantaneous mental connections invite deeper inquiry into whether similar principles might govern the workings of consciousness. The notion that consciousness is non-local, that it exists beyond the confines of the brain or body, is gaining traction in scientific and philosophical circles. David Bohm's theory of the implicate order, for instance, posits that reality has two levels, an explicit observable layer and a deeper interconnected one where all things are unified. This framework provides a basis for understanding how consciousness might operate as a global or universal field rather than being limited to neural activity. Near-death experiences in which individuals report vivid, consistent perceptions and a sense of interconnectedness while their brains exhibit little or no activity further challenge the conventional view of consciousness as a purely local phenomenon. Another example is the Global Consciousness Project, which has found statistically significant correlations between major global events and deviations in random number generators, hinting at a collective, non-local aspect of human awareness. These phenomena suggest that consciousness may not be bound by physical laws, much like quantum particles exist in superposed or entangled states. If telepathy exists, it could be an emergent property of this non-local consciousness, operating through mechanisms we have yet to fully understand. Recent advances in quantum biology suggest that quantum phenomena may play a role in biological processes, including the functioning of the brain. The ORC-R orchestrated objective reduction theory proposed by Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff argues that quantum coherence occurs within microtubules, structural components of neurons. These microtubules may serve as quantum processes, allowing the brain to perform computations that classical systems cannot. While ORC-OR remains controversial, experimental support for quantum effects in biological systems continues to grow. For example, quantum coherence has been observed in photosynthesis, avian navigation, and enzymatic reactions, indicating that nature leverages quantum mechanics in complex systems. If the brain operates at the quantum level, it could facilitate phenomena like telepathy, where information is exchanged non-locally. Neural synchronization, observed in studies where people in close emotional states share similar brainwave patterns, lends further credence to this idea. Research has even shown that meditative practices, which enhance focus and relaxation, can create measurable coherence between individuals' brain activity, hinting at a shared, entangled mental state. These findings suggest 
that the brain's quantum capabilities might underpin extraordinary phenomena, bridging the gap between physical and metaphysical realms. Scientific attempts to validate telepathy have produced both intriguing results and considerable controversy. Early experiments by J.B. Rhine at Duke University in the 1930s sought to measure extrasensory perception, or ESP, using card-guessing tests. While some results suggested statistical anomalies, they were criticized for methodological flaws. More recent studies have used advanced tools like EEG and fMRI to examine brain activity during intention-based experiments. In one experiment, pairs of participants were separated by distance, and one person was exposed to light flashes while the other's brain activity was measured. The results indicated that the second participant's brain showed activity mirroring the light flashes, despite having no physical or sensory connection to the first. Rupert Sheldrake's theory of morphic resonance also offers a framework for understanding telepathy, proposing that individuals connected by close relationships share a collective field that facilitates information transfer. While mainstream science remains skeptical, these experiments suggest that telepathic communication may involve mechanisms beyond our current understanding of biology and physics. Importantly, telepathy might not be a violation of natural laws, but rather an extension of principles like quantum entanglement into the realm of human consciousness. If consciousness operates non-locally, as suggested by quantum entanglement and telepathy research, it has profound implications for our understanding of reality and human potential. A non-local model of consciousness aligns with ancient spiritual teachings that describe the universe as an interconnected whole, where thoughts, emotions, and actions influence not just individuals, but the collective. Practically, this understanding could revolutionize fields like mental health, creativity, and education by emphasizing the interconnectedness of minds. Techniques such as mindfulness, meditation, and collective intention could be used to enhance not only individual well-being, but also group coherence and problem-solving. On a technological front, Advancements in AI and quantum computing might eventually simulate or even harness non-local consciousness for applications like telepathic communication devices or collective decision-making systems. Philosophically, the idea of a non-local mind challenges deterministic views of the universe, suggesting that reality is not a closed system, but an open, interconnected network of possibilities. In this paradigm, telepathy and other extraordinary phenomena are not anomalies, but natural expressions of a deeper, quantum-connected reality, urging us to expand our understanding of the human mind and its potential.